When I first came to Promised Land Living, I was teaching and studying the Bible for so many years. And I thought, do I really need another Bible study? And boy, was I shocked because this was taking the truths that I already knew in the Bible and driving them home in a more intimate way. This was fully transformational. This group was where I got to renew my mind and examine my story in accordance with scriptures. Um, I went in to this course as an observer and came out as a fully vested, fully alive daughter of the king who no one can hold back. So during this class, I learned how to rest in God's presence. I learned how to move to his rhythms of grace. I learned to listen for his voice in a more deep way and, and really to get rid of the distractions and the static that was keeping me from really, really hearing him um, on, a, on a moment by moment basis. And part of this process of promised land living was to look at life and each and every moment as these holy noticing moments where, where we get to choose to be present with God and others in a deep and intimate way. This was not a way I was used to living. Um, I was used to doing my prayers in the morning, doing my prayers during the day spontaneously, but this was a moment by moment living and moving and, and having our being in Christ. Um, I also learned to put off the baggage that I had been carrying around for so many years. I learned to challenge my thinking and, and, and ask myself, do I need to be carrying around these thoughts and these lies that have been basically running the ship of my life for so many years? You see, a lot of us come to um, our adulthood a lot of baggage and and we've we've developed these defense mechanisms to keep ourselves safe our brains love to keep us safe so what has served us in the past no longer serves us if we want to move forward and grow and we come with all of these faulty perceptions and in essence those faulty percep perceptions are keeping us in bondage they're keeping us looking back just like the israelites looked back at egypt they keep us from moving forward in god's supernatural power and they keep us from the intimacy with god and others from having that from from having deep intimate personal um, non-judgmental relationships with others and God. They keep us from growing. All of those things are what I learned when I was in God's schoolhouse in Promised Land Living. And I want to say that every time I run one of these group coaching experiences, I am back in God's schoolhouse personally with the participants. I am... Um, submitting myself back into God's presence and back into more areas that he wants to work in my life. And so being a part of Promised Land Living is the perfect incubator for the Good Shepherd to work his miracles in our lives and hearts as he peels back the layers that we have so cautiously guarded for so many years. And PLL also provided me a framework to get back into his presence when I stumble. The most important part I wanted to talk about um, for, for PLL was the community. People, community changes everything. And Promised Land Living is a safe, non-judgmental, no fix zone to think about your thinking to hear from God in a deeper way and to challenge ourselves to gain clarity of mind, conviction of heart, and the courage to walk forward in faith. It is amazing the transformation that occurs when you are in a group of authentic women who desire to hear from God and are putting themselves in this space and 
and, and that we can truly show up for other humans in an authentic way. Those are just a few of the things that Promised Land Living is me meant to me. After going through as a participant, I needed to become a certified presenter because Promised Land Living was that transformational for me. Won't you join us?